remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This is not a video in support or abandon of R. Kelly. This video is about betrayal. Check it out. So, R. Kelly's live-in girlfriends, Jocelyn Savage and Azriel Clary, they get into a squabble at R. Kelly's Trump Plaza condo in Chicago. Police are called, and they have to take Azriel to the hospital to attend to her injuries that she sustained in the fight that she had with Jocelyn. Let me back it up a little bit. So they're fighting on camera and Azrael is talking about looking out for herself. Says she's gonna expose Jocelyn uh, for the exact same thing that R. Kelly is in jail for sex with a minor. Jocelyn didn't take that too well, so they start squabbling. Now, Azrael followed that up with an Instagram post saying that R. Kelly is not who everybody thinks he is. He forced her and Jocelyn to lie. Uh, it's not real. None of the things that he's saying is real. R. Kelly's lawyer Steven Greenberg said that he doesn't believe uh, Azrael at all because she's just trying to get some publicity. He says he has a signed document from her that he received after R. Kelly was already locked up. But she said that R. Kelly did not touch her when she was underage. Jocelyn is saying that, I mean, not Jocelyn, but Azrael is saying that she had sex, claim, she's claiming that she had sex with Jocelyn and another person while she was underage. Uh, we're assuming that she's talking about R. Kelly. Here's the deal. Joss, uh, Azrael has not been underage for some time now. She's been free to come and go whenever she wants. She, at some point, could have left that whole situation. At some point, just like she got on, on the video and made the claims about um, R. Kelly lying and you know she's gonna look out for herself now, she made a conscious decision to look out for herself now. So that means that if she, if she made the statement, I'm going to look out for myself now, what was she doing before? Did she make a conscious decision not to look out for herself and to cover for R. Kelly and others? And by her being a grown, grown woman and R. Kelly being free as long as he was. How many times did she have underage sex? Sounds like to me what she's about to do, what she's doing is actually exposing herself because she's opening herself up for somebody to come after her. I'm certain that if R. Kelly was engaged in underage sex with her, that and he used older girls to have sex with her, then once she got of legal age, he used her to have underage sex with other girls. And he probably used her to go get those other girls, if it is true what they're saying about him. The thing is, for me, I just... You know, first and foremost, I, I do have uh, sympathy for anybody who's a, a victim of sexual assault. 
but I am very, very big on accountability. Yeah, even my own accountability. If I do something, hey man, and I receive a punishment, I can take mine like a man. I take it on the chin and deal with it. And I'm not gonna cry about it not one day. I won't even complain about it, not one day. I've taken my punishment from time to time. And I do believe in being able to take your bitter with your sweet. This chick, Azriel, uh, I'm not feeling of what she's doing. Uh, you know, she was there the whole time when the getting was good. And now that the getting ain't so good, like she say, she's going to look out for self. I, I, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm big on like accountability and I'm big on loyalty. If we're going to ride, let's ride. We're going to ride it all the way out. I don't believe in being a part-time friend or part-time homie, whatever. I don't believe in that. You either with me or you against me. There is no such thing as a part-time friend, a part-time homie. Loyalty has no expiration, even if you're locked up. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?